just landed at Gatwick. Uh, it's time to go to immigration and then get my bags and then somehow find the train to get to Reading to get to Bath. It's like 4 a.m. right now for me, I'm exhausted. Why are you running? Why are you running? So it is now almost 11 o'clock and I'm just about to crash because that two hour nap today, although magical after being awake for 36 hours, it was not enough. And I know if I don't go to sleep now, as much as I would like to go out uh, with my cousins to pubs and things like that, I need sleep. I didn't really film a lot today just because it was mainly spent seeing my family for the first time and you know, 10 years and traveling from London to Bath. Um, but I just want to kind of touch upon my emotions from today, I guess, after seeing my family. I just wrote in my journal about this. Genuinely, the best part of my day was hugging my Nana after 10 years. She is the last grandparent I have and, you know, I love her so much with all my heart. I don't really have as strong of a relationship with her as I did with my other Nana who passed away a few years ago just because there's, you know, the Atlantic Ocean between my Nana and I. One of the most important things about this week is building a relationship with her. And you know, it's not as if there's animosity between us or anything. It's just a matter that I don't really know much about her. So I really wanna learn more about her and kinda just, in the process, learn more about me too. And I'm really excited for this week for that purpose. I'm only gonna be in Bath until Wednesday, and then I go to London on Thursday probably around noon. So yeah, it's just a short little trip, but I'll be back in a few months. <laughs> I booked flight tickets to come back here in May, so I will be back. But until then, I'm just gonna spend this week exploring the city, exploring and learning more about my family, and learning more about myself at the same time, and how to be a successful solo traveler. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up early and go wander around the city alone and then just kind of see the sights, soak it all in just by myself. So with that, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Good morning. I had a really good sleep. It's really rainy, so I'm not going to have my camera out for too long. Just want to walk to town. Out of this car. <laughs> Thank God it didn't splash me. Just going to walk into town and, you know, get some pictures of some of the sights before the crowds come out for the day. So my camera is acting up in the rain, granted. So I'm using my phone now. So it's gonna be my phone videos for a little bit. I love how this entire video is basically just gonna be me with an umbrella behind me. <laughs> um, in all honesty, I don't really know where I am. I think I'm walking towards the Royal Crescent. Kind of just in a little park area. <laughs> Great cinematography. But yeah, I'm just walking, exploring. I'm having lunch with my Nana at 12.30 and it's nine, I believe. So I've lots of time to kill and I'm just enjoying walking around despite it being rainy.
I was right guys, I somehow made it to the Royal Crescent. I was here 10 years ago and we toured inside this museum here. Um, it's a Victorian style, it's very pretty. The beautiful thing about solo traveling and not really having any plans is that you can just walk and do whatever you want within reason. <laughs> like I have nothing to do today and it just feels so great. <laughs> the only thing on my to-do list is to go to lunch with Nan and to go to my cousin's rugby match. But other than that, I can go wherever I want and that's so, I'm so elated by that right now. I think I might uh, hike up a big hill. Oh, I see a big dog over there. I think I might hike up a big hill to go up to a big church I see up there and yeah, it's just ongoing. I need to go and see that dog. I don't really care. <laughs> Climbing in the mountains of Guyana was amazing because it has prepared me for the hills of Bath. Oh, I have gotten so out of shape since August. The rain has stopped for the most part, um, but my hair is insane. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm still just wandering. N no real clue where I am. So Pulteney Bridge behind me, where I just had that delicious rhubarb and cherry square uh, is one of only two bridges I believe in the world um, where there's shops and restaurants actually built inside the bridge so it's definitely a very neat location and a staple of Bath and I'm glad that I was able to come back to it because when I was here 10 years ago it was so busy that we didn't go in but I'm really glad there's only one other person in there today. Okay, hey, it's just from editing. It is currently October 31st, so this video is already late getting out, uh, but I was just editing. And the next clip you're gonna see um, is a dog that I saw this entire week, you know, it made me happy. As I was editing, I realized that a dog I was stalking when I was walking is probably the same dog. Like, okay, I'm not gonna say probably, but there's a high chance and I am sitting here editing, stressed about everything, and just so happy that I think I saw that dog outside the window. When I was here last time, this was all open up and we toured uh, above the ceiling. <laughs> uh, but the Abbey is under construction. So all the video footage I got, I tried to not show this boarding. Um, it still amazes me, this church, the vaulted ceiling and just the age and history behind it. Um, so I'm glad I was able to document it and now I'm gonna put my camera away and just look around and soak it all in.
now 11.45, I believe. Um, I had a nap today and <laughs> a couple drinks and I'm really not that tired. So what I might do is go for a little walk, not too long. Be safe, of course. <laughs> Come back, crash, and then another busy day tomorrow. Never mind. I'm tired and I couldn't figure out the shower tonight, so I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning guys, um, I'm out of breath because I just climbed a really steep hill and I'm tired and not feeling great this morning, so that's where I'm at. Um, but this is my view right now. Okay, so uh, change of plans. I feel like I'm gonna throw up <laughs> constantly, so I'm heading back. I'm gonna lay down and then we'll see what I get up to the rest of the day. I'm just climbing down a steep-ish hill. Don't want to fall, but I also don't want to throw up.